Howdy, Possum Patty here. It's May 21st. It's in the evening and I'm nature journaling. And this is my neighbor's front yard. And what I'm looking for is the wild rhododendron, which is quite rare in the state. There's actually a rhododendron sanctuary not far from here, but this is right across the street. And there it is. The wild rhododendron, rhododendron maximus. And there's a few of them over here. Now this is not going to bloom until June or July, I think. There's one over here. Doesn't look like it's doing that well, though it's getting some new leaves on it. And this is why we planted so many rhododendrons and azaleas and mountain laurels in our yard. It's because they grow wild here. So we know it's a good habitat for them. Over pine-clad hills and dusky plains, in silent state rhododendron reigns and spreads in beauty's softest blooms her purple glories through the glooms. George Shaw. So today's page is about the rhododendrons. The poem is from Forget Me Not a Floral Treasury by Pamela Todd. It includes plant lore and the language of flowers. In the language of flowers, the rhododendron means danger. And the danger comes from its flowers, as honey made from their pollen can be poisonous unless aged or heated. Today's activity was looking at the rhododendrons and azaleas in the yard and the rhododendrons that grow wild across the street. I wanted to know what the difference was between a rhododendron and an azalea. The wild azaleas in Connecticut are deciduous. They drop their leaves. And the wild rhododendron is evergreen, like the ones across the street. Rhododendrons are in the genus Rhododendron. But azaleas are also in the genus Rhododendron. But there's a slight difference between the two, even though they have a lot of the same characteristics because some rhododendrons can be evergreen and some deciduous, and some azaleas can be evergreen and some deciduous. I believe the native azaleas in this area, anyway, are deciduous. And the azaleas that people plant in the yard that are evergreen are more of the Asian varieties. Another difference between the azaleas and the rhododendrons is usually the azaleas have stamens in their flowers, say around five, where the rhododendrons have 10. And this is another little rhododendron. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 stamens. And look at the uh, bright red style in this one. And on the back of the leaves, the azaleas have hairs. While the rhododendrons have scales.
Another interesting thing that I learned about those big clusters of flowers that they have is that these clusters are called trusses. I did enjoy sitting outside today and painting plein air. Thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye.